All right. Tomorrow, I will teach the Dafyomi at 7.30, and then we're going to have the Novi Shear at 8 o'clock. So, Mario, let okay. everybody know that the Novi Shear is on for tomorrow at 8. All right. Ernie, I may not be able to be here, so if you don't see me at 7.30, please log in. Okay. And when, and when the Daf finishes, just press the recording off, yes. close the recording, and then wait half a minute and start it again, okay? Okay, will do. All right. Mishnah. Well, maybe Irish right. here, take a look. You say you leave me one minute. So then to put back my... At the night, Christ, the children in my own son be a Kippurim. We don't, there's no chiyuv to prevent them from eating on Yom Kippur. But there's chinuch. time. A year or two before the bar mitzvah or bas mitzvah, you start training them uh, regarding fasting. It's it's chinuch. So the Gemara says, if you start two years before, if then why would you have to tell me to do it a year before? You already started two years before. A healthy child, you can start two years before. If he's not that healthy, you only start a year before. Age eight or nine, you start having them fast, right? If they're healthy at eight, if they're not that healthy at nine, you have them fast a couple of hours. Ben Esra, Ben Midrabona. 10 and 11, if, if they're healthy, 10, if they're less healthy, 11, you have them finish the fast only rabbinically. Ben Shtemesrei, for a girl, Mashlimi Midor Raisa, Betinoikes, right? Because she becomes a bat mitzvah at the age of 12. Rav Nachlar Ben Tesha Ben Esser Machan Solo shows. This is for a boy, nine, if he's healthy, 10, if he's not healthy, you start having them fast for a few hours, the shows. Ben Achadesrei, Ben Shtemesrei, 11 if he's healthy, 12 if he's not healthy, Mashlimi Midrabbonu, you have him finished Midrabbonu. Ben Shlosesrei, Mashlimi Midoraisa Betinok, by a boy, Midoraisa at 13, he has to fast. Rav Yechon Amar Shlomad Rabbonu Lecha, there is no concept of being Mashlim, fast, it always shows. And therefore Rav Yechon says, Ben Esrei, Ben Achadesrei, Mechanchin Osol shows. The 10 and 11, if he's healthy or not healthy, 10 and 11 is a few hours. Ben Shtemesrei, for a girl, Mashemimi Deraisa, and for a boy, at 13. The children, you don't force them to fast. You start a year or two years before. We explained with Neshon and Livnei and Livnei Shtayim and Livnei that there was a rabbinic institution of finishing the fast. It depends if they were healthy two years before and if they were not healthy one year before. But Rav Yechidon who says that there's no hashlama mit Rabbonon Kasha, how do you explain that Mishnah? Armach Rav Yechidon, Maishon HaShnotayim, Samach Lepirkan, which means a year or two before their puberty. The Shana Shana time again is for somebody who's healthy or somebody who is not healthy. A year or two before they develop puberty. Toshma, the ton of Rabbi Bar Shmuel, Tinoi Kois, A minus of Yom Kippurim. We don't make them fast on Yom Kippur. Rabbi Machan, Chinos Shana Shana time, Samach Lapirka. A year or two before their puberty, we start training them. Bishma Rav Yechland, the way he explained. El Ravul of Nachman Kasha, Arm Kharabon, Mike Kinuch Nami, Dictonia Shlomo. Kinuch means like they learned, which according to Divrayam, you are Mashlim. Umi Koil Kinuch Ashloma, do we say Kinuch Ashloma, Vatanya, Ezer Kinuch? 
what is called if normally he would start eating breakfast at 10 o'clock, you feed him only at 11. If normally, you move him out an hour, no matter what, however, bit by bit. There's two kinds. There's chinuch l'shos, there's chinuch l'shlomo. We don't pass him that there's a shlomo. And by Shulchan says, when you're 12 for a girl and 13 for a boy, then they're gdoilim and they have to fast. Mishnah. Uv Rashe Richa. You have a pregnant woman. And we know pregnant women, all of a sudden they want pickles and ice cream. They get a certain desire and it could be dangerous if you don't give it to them. So on Yom Kippur, machilan osa achetashiv nafsha. You give her to eat what she wants until she is satiated and it, it solves her craving. Chole. You ask a doctor, is, do you have to feed him or not? And if the doctor says he has to eat, you have to feed him. If not, you don't have to feed him. Rashi says if two doctors say he's in danger, he doesn't eat. So you notice, it, so you need two doctors. Now, there's no experts. And he says, I need it. Or I'm gonna die, you feed him. Achiomar died until he says enough. I don't need anymore. Ton Rabonan, Uvra Sherikh of Sarkodish of Sarkhazir. Pregnant girl woman he smells hegdish meat. Now she's not allowed to eat hegdish meat. Or she smells uh, bacon, non kosher meat. So, toichvin la kush baroite. What you do first, you put a little stick, like a toothpick, in the sauce. Umenichin la pia. You give it to her on, her on her tongue. Just to give her a taste of it. That way, you don't have to eat a kazayas or whatever, you know, it, just to get away the craving. Im nisyash vidaitimutu. If she's calmed down, good. You give her the stew. You don't give her the meat. You give her the sauce first. You give him the piece of meat. Nothing stands away. Except, for example, murder and immorality. It says, uh, Why did it say your money? If a person's physical body is more valuable to him than his money, there's some people, their money is more valuable than their life. He has to be, he has to, he has to be moister as nefesh for Abbas Hashem. And if somebody says, worship of Vodazora, or I'll kill you, you're supposed to allow yourself to be killed. Giloy Arroyo Sushvichas Domi Minolon. Immorality and murder from where do we know? The Tanya. Rebbe Yoimeh. Ki kasher yokum yishal re'ei u'tzorcho nefesh. A person rises up against his friend and kills him. Kena dover azeh. This is by a nara moirasa. This pasuk is by a girl between 12 and 12 and a half who's been given kiddushin so she's nesha siege and someone rapes her or tries to rape her what does rotseach have to do to nara maraso that means you're allowed to kill the rapey the guy was trying to rape this nara you're allowed to kill him 
It's the same like a road say after. It's like see somebody if you see somebody running after somebody with a knife, you're allowed to kill him. You're allowed, because it says, so if you can be Moshiach, you can save her. If they say to the person, you kill that person, if not, I'll kill you, you have to allow yourself to be killed. Or if they say, go sleep with the, this Aisha Siege or some kind of relative, I'll kill you. You have to allow yourself to be killed. It says a man is like that, but a woman, Rashi says, he ain't a mitzvah lim source nafsho. He ain't no isaklim. She's passive. The karka oilim baalmahi. She just lies there. And Esther Amalka is a proof for that, says Rashi. Privately, he can eat the chazer. Privately, you have to have yourself be killed. But if it's, a, if it's public, even for Khazar, even for anything, you have to allow yourself to be killed. Early, do you, if you have to ha have Khazar, do you make a shrita on the Khazar or not? What do you mean? If you have you have to do the shrita of the Khazar? Yeah. Shrita for, for the Khazar doesn't do and it's it's already so or Khalalis, it's already usur as a Dover Tame. So the din of Nevela wouldn't even have a chal on it. It's already, right? It's not a Nisr Kolel. It's the same Nisr for everybody. Nevela and, and, and Dover Tome. Is there any in Aver Menachai too then? That would be for, for Chaya, for a, a Pema Trefa, Pema uh, Tohe Tomeya? The din of... Uh, um, also maybe is a Nisr Chal on Nisr. It's already Osir. As a, do, a dover to me, and we have to learn in the sugya of Enes or Chalaliser. I'm sure there's a uh, in there. Okay, okay. Harode Fakhar Chaver Lo Hargo Kol Yisrael Mitzvim Latzla Nirdav. You can kill him. Guys chasing after. If you can stop him with one of the Chad Meivarav, you should do it. But if not, you can kill him. And if someone's raping an Ara and Meirasa, you're allowed to kill him. How do we see the, where's the source for the Yaharig Val Yomer by Ritzicha? Because you learn it, you learn Nara Mayrasa from Ritzicha. Well, Ritzicha, where do you learn Ritzicha for? So the, Gemara, the famous Gemara, Svari, it's not a Pasuk, it's a Svara. The person came in front of Rav Armele, Armele Mar Duroy, Ketala Laplanya. This officer told me to kill this guy. And if not, the law, Katlin but you don't kill him, I'll kill you. Armele, Niktalach Vila Tiktol. Rabbi told him you should allow yourself to be killed and don't kill. Why? My chaz is the Dama Didech Sumach Tve. Who told you your blood is redder? Dama Dama Dahu Gavrit Sumach Tve. Maybe the friend's blood is redder. Means Svara that you shouldn't kill somebody else to save yourself. You don't trade one life for another life. And Gilu Arayas is connected to Ritzicha, like we learned. And the Avodah Zor, we learned from Vahavta Shem El Kechom, Chol Nafshchot, Chol Meidecha. Afilu Noitel Es Nafshchot. So that's, this is a very Yisoyedistic Gemara. How Uvra Darcha, there was a woman, a pregnant woman who smelled something. And she had a craving. Osel Kamei De Rebbe. And they went to Rebbe to ask, should we feed her? Go whisper to her that it's Yom Kippur. 
Maybe she'll change her mind. She, she whispered her, it helped her. And then she didn't have the craving anymore. What's in your stomach knew what's going on. It means she was pregnant. The Nafak Bine Rav Yoch, Rav Yoch then came out of that pregnancy. Same thing, and pregnant women smelled. Also, Kamayi Rav Chanina, Amr Lo Lechusha Lo Velo Yel Chashe. They told, they told, they whispered to her, it's Yom Kippur. She continued to have the craving. Kari Alei, Zoru Rishram Erech, another Bnei Shabtai Eitzer Peri. There was some Russia inside of her. He, he had uh, orchards of fruit during famine and didn't release it in order to make money off the Aniyim. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so tomorrow, um, 